all this morning. It's like one o'clock now it on a different day. All day. What's up, P Nation? Today we're in Hokitika and we are going on an adventure from the ocean to the mountains, back to the ocean. It's gonna be a great day. We made it. The ocean is so beautiful today. I'm so excited to go hiking in the forest. Last time we were in a biodiverse place like this was in Washington, and I'm really excited to see what this place has to offer. Right now we're doing a tunnel terrace walk, which we don't really know what that means, but it looks like it might have been like an old railroad or something. I have no idea. So squishy. craziest natural Indiana Jones ride I've ever been in. Just like things hanging from the ceiling. I'm waiting for a snake to eat me. These look fake. What is this? That's where the Hobbit lives. So this wall was basically the same type of wall that we saw the glowworms on yesterday. They just hide in the moss. This is basically Jurassic Park. So this is only like a 20 minute hike, but Zach has been taking forever to even walk a little bit because I think he's a little bit overstimulated. There is so much green around us and we've been stuck in the frozen wasteland of Antarctica for the past five months. So I think we're just like, it's a little too much. And yet another tunnel. What is going on? Look at these natural stone steps, just perfectly aligned. And we even have a dinosaur egg. This really is Jurassic Park. It's another tunnel. something like this. I was like, oh, we should probably drive up into the mountains just to have fun. And then all of a sudden we found this random trail leading us into this gorgeous tunnel. I mean, the ferns are literally growing underneath the ground. This is crazy. Whew, and now we're back in the car. That was awesome. I want to do it again and again and again and again. That was such a lovely trail. You like, you didn't break a sweat. You got to go through two different tunnels. You got to see a third tunnel. You were surrounded by greenery and like almost like a rainforest. There were so many ferns. We love ferns so much. That was probably my favorite trail we've been on. Yes, there are no mosquitoes. Nothing's gonna kill you. There are no snakes right. falling from the trees. New Zealand's like an anomaly. It doesn't make any sense. How did I'm they get so enamored. lucky? I don't know. This is really like paradise. I'm so happy that we're here. But now we're gonna go to a different beach and we're gonna get some lunch. snakes, but they're not. This is even cooler walking through the rainforest to the beach. It's crazy that they're mixed together. We normally see just cows next to the beach, but for this, they have rainforest. So I'm so excited. I can start to hear the ocean behind us, or behind me. 
And we hear that if you look hard enough, you can find jade stones just like on the beach and you can pick them up and you can take them. Okay, I have no idea if this is jade, but maybe if it's polished down. Hmm. Maybe this is Jade. I don't know. Like, I feel like everything I see that's green, I'm like, oh, that's definitely it, but, hmm. Definitely not Jade, but so white, beautiful. Is this Jade? We don't know. What does Jade look like? forever we actually stopped filming it rained all last night and all this morning it's like one o'clock now it on has been a raining day. all day hard <laughs> hard so we, we haven't done a lot of things that we planned on doing but we did make it to this beautiful drive we're going along the west coast of the south island and we've gotten to fantail falls and we are just driving by every single waterfall there are so many waterfalls so every mountain has 10 waterfalls many. on it and so as we're rounding all it's these crazy. corners like looking up and seeing waterfalls has been amazing we even got to drive like underneath one practically it was like falling the water was falling on the road yes. because it's been raining for such a long time <laughs> and i think there's just so much water buildup and pressure can't hold anymore it is just it is coming down through these waterfalls it's absolutely spectacular so we can't hike but it's okay because <laughs> we're seeing all these waterfalls from the car so it could be worse, we could be just trapped somewhere, but yeah. we're able to get out yeah. in the car. It's been really nice. All right, and we have driven down the road. The rain has stopped, and behind us is a beautiful blue Gatorade Lake. What is it called? It's either Lake Wanaka or Lake Hauia. Oh Howie? my gosh. This has just been an amazing Gorgeous. change of pace. We've gone from the rainforest to now the dry desert lands, and it is amazing how blue this water is. Apparently, it's from Glacier Flower, which is what it's called, which is a makeup of what? It's like... Well, the water's super blue on its own because it's so just clear. Uh -huh. But then it gets this, like, cloudiness, but it's pretty much just like silt that runs off from glaciers grinding up rocks mm -hmm. and it's just silt it's just like yeah. in the water all the time and it's really really pretty oh it's amazing yeah and we're only 40 minutes away from our final destination which is wanaka and apparently that's going to be an awesome town i can't wait to show you some cool shots yeah. enjoy some more shots from the road trip because it has been epic so far
finally made it to Wanaka. It is this tiny town that's beautifully situated on the south end of the Wanaka Lake and it's just like encapsulated in these beautiful mountains. Mm -hmm. It is so darn pretty here. Beautiful. I can't even describe it. It's gorgeous. It's the best mountain town ever. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know we went a lot of places. <laughs> it was kind of random. We're trying to show you as much as possible. We got rained out a lot, but we managed. <laughs>